hello hopefuls thanks so much for coming back to my channel today i hope you all are doing great staying safe and blessed and praying for each and every one of you and our nation y'all we're gonna pull through this so today i have a instacart order from aldi and what prompt this order was i wanted to start our prepper pantry or our food stockpile yeah we do have some stuff in the pantry already but i want to make like a little um if you ever heard i never heard of it until i was looking at people's food hauls when they with this pandemic all started and stuff and it's called a prepper pantry so also thinking about you know how this may come up again um in the fall you know i was wanting to get it started and plus aldi has a limit of four canned goods so i just wanted to get like a little bit at a time and most of them that i looked at were like expiration date of 2023 and 22 and what i'm going to do is i'm going to write on the canned goods with a marker big and bold Trying to make sure my potatoes not overflowing y'all um they're boiling i'm making homemade mashed potatoes today i feel like cooking y'all so that's why i didn't go to aldi myself because that would have made me tired especially with all the stuff you got to do to go so anyway i'm so grateful for that service um for many reasons even when i work it but i haven't been doing it now y'all so anyway i'm gonna write our permanent marker of the day on here let's see these string bangs we still have some from when i did the other stockpile i'll make sure i link that below it says september 7 2022 and you know my family normally will have like two cans at a time so that can go really quickly if you're um cooking every day okay so that's what prompted this and then also what prompted i was trying to get jason some cookies they were out of stock i thought i ordered milk but i had to look at my receipt and i didn't so i must have thought i did and something else prompted y'all oh i wanted to cook today i wanted some cube steak and normally i make my cube steak with rice but i'm going to make it with mashed potatoes today homemade mashed potatoes and i want to yeah what time is it, is it right? oh i need to hurry up so before jason lee or save him so he might not take it to work so i'm trying to think is that all i want to tell you guys um i spent my instacart total was 174 but my total on my receipt was 131 so when you're really doing instacart you're not supposed to give the customer the receipt um but i know that the prices are higher because the items are like a couple of cents more than you pay um a delivery service fee or service fee and then you have to tip and all that stuff so it's a little bit higher so it's worth it if you want to also oh that's what i want to say so it was hard to get a spot for instacart in our area it still may be in other areas um but lately i had a delivery order last week i was too tired to record it for you guys i'm sorry and um that order that order that day had like this that order that day had like this fast and flexible option so i didn't know if i was gonna get it that day or the next day so i tried to give the shopper in our area it's on demand meaning anybody can see any order as long as it's in the area and they can grab it so i made sure i put a really good tip on there so they could grab it and they did now i think we got more shoppers in the area or either everyone is just you know done calm down from everything and it's it's more slots available because before you had to do it like two and three days out still with walmart pickup you still have to do two and three days out so anyway i haven't forgotten about you guys i have lots of videos that i need to edit some bunch of ideas and stuff that i want to do but just homeschooling and stuff like that and the kids are not going back to school the rest of the year in north carolina and it's a lot y'all <laughs> a lot so um i'm still gonna try to get the videos out at least twice a week and um it, but it's something that i have an idea of something i want to do and it's going to take some work and some research on how to do it so i haven't forgotten about you guys but if you follow me on instagram i'm trying to do with my stories my hauls that or stuff i get in the mail so getting the mail was my highlight of the day every when when i was a stay-at-home mom you know and watching divorce court and some other things and so 
I thought I was just start recording what I get in the mail, like from Amazon or Walmart or something like that, y'all, that I have an order. So follow me over there on Instagram. Um, you can see my stories in Facebook too, but I don't see too many people watching those. And then I also shared how to start with Dollar General couponing. When I got Sharon going, <laughs> she said she hooked. But I want to tell you some tips and tricks and don't let it overtake, you know, your your habits. Because you can go overboard, y'all, and spend a whole lot instead of um, buying everything instead of what you really need. So I'm going to do that on my channel. And then what else I want to say? Um, I'm thinking about taking classes. So if anybody wants to know because I know somebody's gonna want to know um, I'm thinking about business administration or accounting so it probably like one class at a time or something like that and yeah so I know that's gonna take up some of my time but I'm gonna try to do one or two videos um, or at least two videos a week three is my goal but two videos a week but I want to do some other things I have lots of ideas but anyway y'all sorry this was so long I'm gonna make sure I put the timestamp at the beginning so they just want to hear the haul you can okay and if you're new, welcome. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, um, the peach slices is part of my pepper pe prepper pantry that I want to do. I saw this great video that Sherry Simply Living had on her channel. And then Sharon made her a pepper pantry she's starting hers too so I want to do that I used to have like a little stop pile anyway before I even knew what that was a pepper pantry in our old house and but I can't get out and coupon like I want because I really coupon a lot at the grocery stores but I can't go to all the dollar stores and the grocery stores and the drug stores so I'm just picking right now to just go to the drug store and the dollar stores okay so I got three of these all my Aldi has a limit of four I got the homestyle baked beans I want to say that this was a replacement I can't remember the boys love coming down here for a snack when they on their video game diets my kids love video games um, the sweet and salty cashews and the chocolate chip um, bars I probably should have got two the cheesecake, I got the regular New York style, and I got the strawberry, and then the Dunkers, they like these. They didn't like the chocolate chip, which I don't blame because I tried them. They're still sitting over there, y'all, from the last time I got them in the jar. My mama didn't care for them either, so I guess it's just what you like because um, I, I heard some people say they do like it. I got three of the kidney beans, I think. I thought I got four, but and I got four of the black beans. And, you know, with this meat shortage and stuff going on, I, too, want to have some beans. I want to make my, I need to call my friend Shell and make, um, she has a great way of making, like, some really good beans that she was telling me about. But anyway, because she don't buy a lot of canned stuff. Um, some cut green beans. But with all this meat shortage and stuff, I want to make some really good black bean burgers. Okay. The grill style, southern style barbecue, I got three of these, but actually I asked for the country style, so this was a substitution. There are the other green beans, the crushed tomatoes, I think I got four, I did. The cream of chicken, I got two of these, I should have got cream of mushroom too, and they don't carry cream of celery, so that's a really good staple to have. Two of the Hawaiian rolls, my family will go through these really quickly, so I got two of them, the buttermilk buttermilk milk I got this because I'm making those mashed potatoes from scratch and I got trail this purified water because he's been walking around with his milk this old purified water jug for weeks but I didn't know they started this style bottle so I don't know if he's gonna like it or not um he cleans it out because I got on him about keeping the bottle for a long time but I told him to be careful. Okay, frosted brown sugar cinnamon um, toaster tarts. I got some gravy. I do know how to make my own gravy, but I got some gravy. I got some pineapple um, tidbits because today we're having um, country style steak with homemade mashed potatoes and um, I don't know, probably some string beans. Some diced pears, some cherry mixed fruit, and some rolls and gravy. Uh, some tropical fruit. Some macarons, some strawberry applesauce. Um, the sardines, I thought I asked for the sp spring water. 
in spring water but they must didn't have it I had to look at my receipt again or she accidentally picked up four three of those so that could have happened but anyway I don't really like I really haven't tried sardines but Jason likes them so I got it for our little pep pepper I cannot say that prepper pantry um, some chicken broth I got two of these for uh, the pantry and then the beef stock and the organic is just 10 cent more y'all so that's why I didn't get the regular the cooking stock I got two of the vegetable and then um, let's see some chicken light tuna four of these and she got me the one in lemon pepper because they didn't have any in the regular some luncheon meat but I actually won't spam but I need to go to Walmart so I probably won't pick up any more of this um, this is again for the pepper pantry because I don't really cook with this but if you know a good pasta recipe with some spam it is the bomb because my mother-in-law I'm gonna have to call her and ask her for hers because she has a really good pasta salad with spam otherwise we don't really eat it but if you need to in this emergency you can eat it okay because I used to eat every blue moon growing up we used to fry it and make a sandwich okay chick chip chunk light tuna I do have some already in the pantry but this has a great shelf life um, this doesn't expire until 2023 and so I wanted to get for those you know a little bit at a time so we have some I got some hickory smoked ham um, for some sandwiches the Vienna sausages even these y'all if you saw my last video you only can get four so I got four more so Jason can have them and then Jason was like what well, we all have to get in line and get four and I said maybe but anyway um so the spring mix I needed some more of this even though I still have some but tomorrow I'll probably make something like a big salad so we can eat it before it gets bad okay I needed some napkins something else I wanted and they didn't have oh some bowls some paper bowls they were out of those and so I wanted the smaller plates but they only had the big plates but it's okay um, the fruit cocktail I think Jason ate all of these from the first stock I have to look and see but I'm gonna pull all that stuff out because it's like down on the bottom it's in a great spot but I don't like stooping down low looking to see what canned goods I have so I'm gonna put them on my shelf in my laundry room and I think I'm gonna organize that shelf y'all it's a mess I'm gonna show y'all what it look like it's a mess um okay some ramen chicken flavor noodles I asked for the beef but this is a substitute so I got two of these and that's fine they'll eat it here is the cube steak in the pack and it was $6.89 that one and this one was $5.79 so with this meat, y'all just gonna have to pray. I'm gonna pray over this stuff. Um, the ground 80-20. Some potatoes back there in the back. Already had some potatoes, so that's what's boiling. I don't know if I'm gonna add any more or not right now. Some frosted flakes. I got the family size. They killed this, and I didn't even know from last time. And cinnamon crunch squares. I probably should have got two boxes of this. And that's it, y'all. That is my haul. Sorry, it was so chatty. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I have to find the video where I did a meal plan. Still working off that same meal plan from when I posted that video. I know it may seem like it's far out, but some days I will cook, and then some days I'll treat the boys who might go to McDonald's or Zaxby's or something like that, or they're eating leftovers. So, anyway, y'all. So. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys are doing great, y'all. I hope you are doing okay. Not stressing out with all this stuff. And, um, yeah, just let me know what you're up to down in the comments. Bye-bye.